My name is Sophia Silf. I'm a principal with San Francisco Ballet and a principal guest teacher of the school attached to the company. Pretty much from the get-go, I kind of knew I wanted to do this. Um, I didn't have like a title in mind, a place in mind, but I knew I wanted to be on stage, uh, either telling a story or not, but basically using that expression to be there as an artist. So I went into the ballet school and studied very seriously pretty much from day one, which is quite tough. You're not allowed to do most of the things children do. Um, but it never felt like I was missing out because I was getting so much more out of my ballet training. And then I got to travel. I started working at 14 in Germany. Uh, then I joined the Dutch National at not even 16 yet. Then New York City Ballet, I studied a lot of places. So it's been a great education overall for a young adult. So I guess that's what, you know, got me into it. When I joined, it was the 75th anniversary of the company. I think there were like 20 new ballets being made, which I thought, oh my God, I mean, talk about not being a museum and actually doing new stuff. So that was definitely the first attracting point. And I wanted to teach at the same time, which that was also possible. I mean, I've been extremely lucky to do what I have done and to be where I am, that at this point it also needs to be about other people than just me. So it was kind of a natural choice. And you know, um, I was there first as a guest just to sort of take the temperature and, and here I am. We have had some really great choreographers coming in and making new ballets, whether you know it's popular or not. So I think the experience of having those new choreographers coming in was a big part of why I'm still here. I also think you know the fact that we still do you know the big classics and you know sort of checking where you're standing as a dancer. Um, I find that challenging. You know, I've done choleric since I'm 17. I mean, it's obviously different now that I'm doing it, but it's kind of nice to revisit, to go back to a, you know, a place where it used to be this whole new world, and that's like, oh, it's under my belt, and uh, what else can I do with it? And you have new people, new generations. So uh, I do believe that good uh, ballet masters, repetitor, actually allow that. They allow you to participate because they trust you as an artist, they trust you as a dancer. And you also evolve, everything evolves, you can't stop that. So I think we should keep ballet alive and not like a museum where you dust off the dust here and there with a vacuum cleaner. So I think that's my job as a 2015 ballerina to keep it alive and not sort of go, oh yeah, we used to do it like this. I do believe that if you choose for dance, for instance, and you actually manage to do it, as hard as it is, it's very re rewarding. If you keep it to what the art form is, don't rush the step. It takes a long time. It takes a village to make something good. It's not an overnight thing. Um, you have to allow that process to happen. Patience. <laughs> 